So you clicked on this video because you want to know how I can save you money on buying a home. Well, stay tuned because I'm going to break it down for you. So today we're going to talk about how I can save you money in buying a home in Loudoun County. My name is Laura Griffin. I'm a top selling real estate agent in the Loudoun County area. I'm with Loudoun Living at Pearson Smith Realty. Some of you also know me as the Loudoun Mom. Loudoun Moms is a popular mom's group here in the Loudoun County area and I am the founder and the admin for them. And so let's talk about buying a home. So I help a lot of clients from all over the country who are relocating and moving to the Loudoun County area. I also specialize in helping families in the Loudoun County area with trading up. So they're selling their home and they're buying a new home here in the Loudoun County area. If you would like help with buying or selling a home or relocating to the area, give me a call at 571-354-7325 or email me at the link below. I'd be happy to be your resource for anything Loudoun County, it is my passion. So let's talk about saving money on buying a home. That is right. I'm going to show you how you can save money while buying a home in this crazy market. Um, I don't know about you, but it has been a crazy spring, early summer here in Loudoun County, and the real estate market is bananas hot. Um, we have had a crazy market, but that doesn't mean you can't save a little bit of money here and there. So let's deep dive into how we can do that. And the first thing is starting with your lender. So having a good lender be your partner in this and my partner kind of like we're like the three musketeers in this is so important because having someone who can advocate for you, help you figure out ways to better utilize your money. Sometimes for some clients, the lender can save the money. They may be thinking they're going to put down X on a house, but it really is to advantage to maybe put down a little bit less or put down a little bit more to save them money. And really having that lender in your corner can really help with determining what's better for you. Is it better to put down all of your money and save, or is it better to maybe reserve some of it? Maybe not have much impact on your payment, but have the money to then renovate or do things to the house that you want to do. Because maybe the house is 100% perfect, but having a little bit extra money can make it 100% perfect for you. Also, finding a good lender in our area could help by having a variety of loan products. And why would I say that? In Virginia, there's a couple of programs that you might be able to take advantage of that'll save you some money. So some of our homes qualify for USDA financing. And yes, I said USDA, like we all think about for you know, our food, the agricultural, but they do have some properties here that qualify for that program because they're rural. And because of that, the down payment is little to none. So that could be an advantage. Also in Virginia, we have the VHDA program, which provides money from the state for first time home buyers. Um, so you have to not own a home, yeah, um, you preferably, you know, you most of them are renting right now and it'll help you with down payment grant money as well as closing costs. So having a lender in your corner that can help you with seeing if maybe one of those might be a better option for you is really a good, um, is a great way to save some money because in some cases you might be able to save money by doing the VHDA program than doing an FHA or a smaller conventional our smaller down payment conventional loan. Also, we have some amazing lenders. We're near Washington, DC and a couple of military um, bases and we have a lot of veterans in our area. And so having a lender that is well-versed in VA loans and VA products can save you a lot of money. I know sometimes you hear that some of the VA appraisals are coming in low and you might have to make up that appraisal gap if a VA loan is yours or is your in your particular scenario as it was for my husband and I, we both have a, we use our VA loan to purchase our homes. Um, having someone who's well-versed in VA can actually show you how you can save money if the appraisal gaps come in a little bit low. There's ways that we can kind of work through that. So having a strong lender is a great way to save some money. Number two is appraisal gap. So in our area, we've seen a very competitive spring market. I anticipate we're probably gonna continue to see that through the summer and potentially into the fall. We just have a lack of homes. Um, plain and simple. We just, a lot of people are staying in their homes and not trading up and moving. So it's, it's kind of causing a, like a traffic jam, right? These people aren't leaving. So these people can't move into their homes and then the other people can't move into theirs. So 
it's causing a supply and demand issue. So we're seeing some homes may be list at 600, but we may be going up to 620 or 650. So appraisal gap is when you have a house, let's say the contract's for 650, the house appraises at 620. There's a $30,000 gap there. And what do we do? So we have a few options. We can write that language into the contract, but should the appraisal come in low, that you, the buyer, will cover that difference. Or we can pre-negotiate it. Look, we're offering this for the house. If the appraisal comes in low, let's pre-negotiate that for the seller. So that's a way that we can save you some money. In some instances, sellers are allowing us to do that. So there's definitely a few ways that we can help you save money on an appraisal gap. There also might be a way for us to kind of like split it with the seller. If there's a $20,000 short, maybe we each take half. So definitely talk to me about your scenario um, and what would be the best fit for you as far as offers, because there are some clients that just can't make up appraisal gap of 20 or 30,000. So we would need to know that ahead of time and structure a deal that would fit better with your needs. Number three, and especially if you're relocating to the area, having someone who lives here in Loudoun County and who knows the area well um, is so important because you want to know about neighborhood resale value. What's the resale value in that neighborhood? Has it always been strong? Is there a lot of redevelopment near that um, community that maybe might help it later on? Is the metro coming <laughs> near your community which could help with property values? Wanting, needing to know that is so important and really having someone who knows and understands the area. They can also guide you on prices. There's been times I've been in a home and a client wants to offer X price. I'm like, this house isn't worth it. Here's some of the comps. Here's where it's been. You know, I. I, I don't really think this is where you want to be. Um, let's wait for another house because I always believe there's a lid for every pot and we will find you the right house. But someone who's unfamiliar with the area might say, yeah, that's a great price for this house. Let's just do it or let's go above list price. And then you end up hurting yourself and spending more money than you needed to. So definitely knowing someone who knows the area and knows what neighborhoods are appreciating and what's going on is so critical. Also, if you're a veteran and you're relocating to the area as part of the military or working for the government, that is really important to have someone who understands that and who lives in the area. My husband and I moved to, the, to this area after he retired from the military and we found a realtor who helped us and it was the best thing we ever did because some clients are gonna buy a house knowing that they're only gonna stay here for a limited amount of time. Maybe they work for the government or in the military and will PCS. Knowing that, we can also try to find a house in a neighborhood that would be a good investment for later on to rent out. So looking at what's available to rent, is it a neighborhood where there are rentals? Is it a neighborhood that's popular that people will want to rent? Is it near commuter routes? Is it near um, different types of businesses where you might have a good pool of candidates? So being, so being able to have a realtor who understands military lifestyle as well as the rental market. I have a couple of clients who are rental investors and knowing what renters are looking for and how to help you with structuring a deal and finding a home that would be turned into a rental property later on down the road. Number five is HOA dues. And you may be thinking, how are we going to save money on HOA dues? Well, knowing the communities in our area and what the HOA dues cost and what they um, include is important because you may be coming from an area without an HOA, or you may be coming from an area with an HOA where maybe they don't cover very much. And so knowing what's important to you, do you want an HOA that has a gym? Because maybe you can save a few hundred dollars on a gym membership versus having to go to one of the big corporate gyms down the road. Having a community with a pool, maybe that's really important to you and we need to find a neighborhood where it's included in the HOA, where you might be paying a little bit more per month, but not having to buy that summer pass at the um, Parks and Rec or having to buy into some of the HOAs you can actually buy into and get a pool pass is really important because that could save you a couple hundred dollars for the summer season. So really knowing that. Also what's included in the HOA, some include trash, some do not. So that's a way to save you a little bit of money. In some of the condo communities too, it includes water. Um, and in some of the other communities, it includes cable and internet. So by focusing on HOA that maybe has some of those things built into the price of the HOA and you're, and you're spreading the cost amongst all of your neighbors, it might be a good way to save you some money. Because some, in some instances, HOAs that include cable and internet are just a little bit higher than the one down the road that doesn't. And, you know, I know my family, we spent about, I think it's about $187 a month for cable and internet. And so by maybe spending an extra $40 or $50 a month in your HOA dues, might end up being a better advantage to you. So there's definitely some ways that you could save money by knowing what amenities are important to you and what you're looking for in your next HOA. 
And my last way to save you some money is my favorite, and that's my vendors. So I not only run a mom's group, but I have a lot of moms in my group that own businesses. I know a lot of other um, people in the community who own businesses. And by having access to my vendor list and access to my contacts, I can save you money. There's sometimes we're looking at a house and it may not be 100% perfect, but I know that if we could just put a little bit of money in some paint or some carpet or maybe freshen up a bathroom or a kitchen, it might turn it into your dream home. So by having access to contractors who will be able to and vendors, who will be able to help you with these things is how I can save you some money. And we would also be able to get some instances quotes ahead of time so that way you kind of know what to expect. I have a lot of clients who have renovated their homes and, I, and I've done a lot of myself. I can kind of tell you roughly in our area what it's going to be. And that's important because renovations throughout the different parts of the country can be a totally different price point than here. So by having access to vendors who are qualified and who take really good care of my clients is a way that I can save you money. So whether you're relocating to the area, you're buying in the Loudoun, or selling in the Loudoun County area, I'd love to be a resource for you. My phone number is 571-354-7325 or email me at the link below. I'd love to talk to you about your real estate needs and how I can be of assistance.